Hi kids, it's Granny. Today we're playing Animal Inspector. Only we're gonna play it really fast. My perfect boy. My truest friend. Noble and fierce. You'll be inspected soon. But I won't wait for that. They're hiring agents. I've already applied. You're a good dog. I won't let them take you. And now I'm an animal inspector. Yay! Yay, me. Oh, hello there. My name is Martha. It is wonderful to meet you, dear. Are you just starting out here as well? Yes. How exciting! Well, I'm very much looking forward to this. It will be good for me to get out of the house. I just do not get out as much as I should. Do you see that young man over there? I tried talking to him earlier. His name is Alan. He was a little rude. So I'm glad that you are here. Oh, but enough of this. I'm very excited to work with you. Well, to work near you in any case. Hehe. <laughs> you all are the new employees? Okay. Well, I'm in charge here. Um, listen up. This job's pretty straightforward. Every day you'll get a stack of forms, go through each one and stamp them, approve good or useful animals, reject bad or useless animals, don't skip any. We take this job very seriously. Um, um, oh yes, one more thing. Please make sure to comment on every animal you process. Explain your reasoning. It's a legal thing. Yeah, I don't know, that's it I guess. Cool. Yeah, sure. What's that? Isn't there any training? A rule book or something? Um, no. Use your best judgment. I'll let you know if you screwed up. But try not to screw up. Okay, you each find a stack of forms on your desks. I'm starting you all off easy, but please be thorough. He seems nice. You think so too, right? Uh, no. Hmm, oh dear. Well, it seems that our day is about to begin. And it's time to go inspect some animals. Eh. Do try to be a little more enthusiastic, dear. These animals need you, after all. Okay, animal inspection form. The lowly pooch, he's a goof. Aww, he's good for petting. We all love this fuzzy dog a lot, the Alvarez family. Well... The Alvarez family are all a bunch of idiots. Yep, rejected. Nah. There we go. All right. Kitty. Tiny cat. Aloof. Kills mice. She didn't let me touch her until a few months ago, but now I pet her every day. Samantha. Oh, too bad this cat is so tiny. I kill tiny things. Period. Rejected. 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 Thank you very much. Next, a house cat. He's timid. He doesn't look very timid. He looks like a killer. Reminder of simpler days. Wow, what simple days were those? The days when you drink 12 or 15 cups of coffee in the morning. He easily becomes afraid, but this cat is good. He is family. Family. The monsters are a family. But they were weird. This cat has... has uh... Has, has, no, spleen. Okay. Uh, we keep it. Yay. Yay. I'm all done with that row, with that pile. Okay, um, welcome back, I guess. Pretty good job yesterday, pretty good. Some of you, and I won't name any names, but you know who you are, have been a little too liberal with approvals. The whole point of this agency is to call the herd. That means you can't just blindly let everything through. From now on, I'll need you to all reject at least one animal. Failure to do so will result in a strike. Um, uh, 
Okay, yeah, that's it. Hello again. How was your first day? Oh, Bubblehead. It sucked. I did bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dear. My day was grand. Well, bully for you, Bubblehead. Such wonderful and cute animals I had. Of course, I approved them all. Though, I guess I cannot do that anymore. Oh, I hate to bring this up, but I heard... Did you really reject the kitty? <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. Well, I'm sure you had a good reason. I guess I should get used to this kind of thing. Good luck today, dear. Hey. We never really talked earlier. I'm Alan. Hey, Alan. You have a blue nose, Alan. That's kind of weird. Who has a blue nose? I, I never knew anybody with a blue nose. I don't think I'll be here very long. This is bottom of a barrel stuff. Sincerely bad. Like, really, just the worst. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mmm, yep, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Eh, <laughs> yeah, you get me. I get you, Ellen, but I'm not sure why you're naked and wearing a pearl necklace. That's kind of weird, a pearl necklace. See the pearl necklace? Always good to meet you. Anyways, good to meet you. Somebody can't read. Oh, goody, now we get to a snake? Oh, snake. Who needs snakes? Snakes are, oh, they're cold-blooded little shits. No, it's very neat. I don't care if your snake is neat. I, I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. Snakes are rude and make me sweat in my underwear. There we go. Rejected. Alrighty now. Here we have a house cat. He's nervous and he sheds. Um, nervous animals are miserable and should be annihilated. Did I spell that right? I don't know. Who gives a flying... Who gives a flying kitty? Anyway. Next, we have an ancient hound. Aww. He's resigned. He's good for petting. Aww. Aww. His name is Mike. Aww. He's old, but he's part of the household. Aww. We can't get rid of uh, Mike. Mike is so stupid. I hate him, but I will let him live for one more hour. Reject it. <laughs> Oh, that's it. I did that pile. Okay. Well, uh, it's a new day. So, uh, there's a bit of a space concern. Basically, what I mean by that is there are some concerns about space. Specifically, the space all these animals are taking up. I guess what I'm trying to say is, please prioritize rejection of larger animals. All things being equal anyways. Anything close to human size, that's the size I'm talking about. A people-sized animal. Unbelievable. After all, the whole point of this is to, well, to make space, I guess. Well, then I suggest you just head on into a hole in the ground, and that would make some space. Hmm. Oh, hello, dear. Sorry, but I'm a little down today. I heard that Alan has been rejecting all of his animals. I just do not agree with that. But he does not want to listen to me. He called me. Well, dear, he said that I am out of touch. Can you believe it? Hmm, yep, because you have a bubble head and you look like a poodle. Goodness. De dear, I had thought you were kind. I think maybe you do not mean it. But even being rude only to get a reaction is very cruel. Also, I am not proud of it, but I rejected an animal. Not a cat, of course. It was just a fish. The natural enemy of cats. Oh, yeah. Because fish go around eating cats all the time. Like, that's a thing. Fish eating cats. I mean, cat eating fish. Cat eating fish. Fish that eat cats. But still, it does not feel good. 
What doesn't feel good? The fish that's getting eaten. I mean, the cat that's getting eaten by the fish probably doesn't feel good. No, you're right. That would not feel good but eaten by a fish. Not at all. Dear, I know we have our instructions, but I do not think you should be rejecting cats. I just do not think it is right. Cats are very intelligent creatures, you know. In some ways, a cat is smarter than you or me. With you, it is maybe a lot of ways smarter. Oh! Oh! You bitch! You nasty, poodle-headed, bubble hair bitch! So, do you understand now? Yeah, I understand you're a bubblehead bitch. Do you promise to approve the cats? No. Oh, I guess that was a hard promise to make. But I think maybe you could have tried. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Yeah, bye, bubblehead. How's it going? I heard you sent the family dog to the farm. Ha <laughs> ha, right on. I did not send the family dog to the farm. What the... Frig, are you talking about? Thing was old. My dog is not old. Mr. Mr. You have hair exactly like Wilma Flintstone. Only it's not red. Wilma Flintstone's hair was red. Your hair isn't even red. It's just an ugly sort of gray color and you have a blue nose. Who has a blue nose and Wilma Flintstone hair? Nobody. Not even Wilma Flintstone. I don't even want to listen to what you're saying. Blah, 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 blah. I can't hear you. Blah, 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 blah. I can't hear you. You're talking to the air. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to kill you if you don't shut up. Okay. Big pooch. Aw. Strong tail. Aw. He's in charge. Aw. He's big. He's a nice big dog. Big dogs. Big dogs. That's the title. They leave big turds on the lawn. Rejected. Next, Ant Farm. Busy and educational. Well, now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Granny's going to reject those ants. Grannies don't like bugs. But you know what I think? Ants are just like people. They throw parties and sometimes drink too much. And then they puke. Hey, puke. It won't fit. And then puke. Approved! Yay! Next, a tiny pup, squeaky, fits in a lap. This brutish pooch bit my left hand and drew blood. I think I'll need stitches. You know what I say? Screw that little bastard dog. He deserves a lengthy prison. Sentence with, oh, what's his name? With, with Bluto. Bloodpo, yeah, Bloodpo. He deserves a lengthy prison sentence. <laughs> with Bloodpo. Scrum, rejected. I'm done. Done with that stack next. Am I promoted yet? Okay, so morning. I just got word from the department head. Basically, well, they think you've all been doing great. Really great. So great, in fact, they're bumping up the inspection quota. Uh, uh, well, now you have five animals each to look through. Also, this means you each need to reject two. Because there are more animals. Oh, by the way, I appreciate you rejecting the big dog. It was definitely a large animal. Maybe even the largest. No. A blue whale is the largest. It's good to know someone was listening. So, um, yeah, good job. Yeah, why don't you go comb your hair? Because your hair looks like, like, limp potato salad duck butt. Though in the future, well, no, never mind. What? What? 
What were you going to say? Oh dear, that poor dog. Was it really the least useful animal? I'm not really a dog woman, but... Well, I think it made its owners happy. This job is not what I thought it would be. I'm trying my best to be fair to these animals. <laughs> but it's not very easy. The boss is giving us lots of instructions. Instructions I do not always agree with. Oh man, this job. I don't want to say this loudly, but, well, it's boring, yeah? A real drag. Very repetitive. God, can you imagine doing this for the rest of your life? Um, no. It gives you a real appreciation for education. Oh, like, I guess that means you didn't get one and that's why you're working this crap job? And naked? And wearing a pearl necklace? Alan? Like, seriously, poor Martha. She's basically at the end of her life. She's ancient. So old. Like, just look at her. Hmm. Yikes. And yet, this is where everything's led for her. Man. Yeah, real happy that's not me. Like I said, I don't think I'll be here long. You'll probably make it out of here, too. You're good at this, I can tell. Alright, let's see. Standard feline, loving. Fits in small places. This cat is very affectionate. If this cat will fit in small spaces, flush it down the toilet. Rejected. Rejected. Garden kitten. Oh, he's in the garden with tulips. See the tulips? He's meek. He's soft. She's still finding her voice. I think she will do great things. The great, greatest thing this cat has ever done is behind the couch. It stinks. Stinks. Reject. Reject. Fine. Approve it. Next. Mouser. Confident and self-cleaning. All cats are confident and self-cleaning. But a mouser, that's a good selling point. You know, you want, it, you want a good mouser cat. But look, there's something wrong with this cat's mouth. It has like and it has a weird mouth. That mouth is not right. Oscar is my most practical cat. He even feeds himself. I wish he would feed himself to an alligator. Rejected. Next. Another mouser. Timid and collects dust. Ew, dusty cat. Bad dusty cat. Echo is Oscar's twin, but he's very different. He hides a lot. I hope he hides in the toilet so I can flush him away. Reject. <laughs> Yay! Next, Elder Cat. Weary and wise. Oh, I like this cat. I call her Sage. She is very wise, perhaps wiser than me. Hmm. This cat is a buckter. Reject. Next. I'm all done. Done with that stack. Done with that stack. All done. All done. Um, okay, so I'm sorry to say it, but all Mindy's come down with the flu. Oh, no. Yeah, it's sad, but it's only the flu. So, uh, rest assured, old Mindy will be back in action soon enough. In any case, uh, well, someone needs to take her place in the cages. And today, that someone is Alan. Okay, so why is it my problem? Yeah? Okay, well, cool. I'm up for anything. Alan's been chosen because of his exemplary... Exemplary... Um, exemplary performance here these past few weeks. Right on. 
You all have been doing well, <laughs> so no need to worry about increased quotas. Good work out there, everyone. Hey, okay, I have something to say. Okay, well, well, I have to admit, you, um, well, you caught me a bit off guard. You, uh, well, you really shouldn't use language like that. This is a professional setting. Oh, you mean because I called the kitty a little fucker? But the kitty was a little fucker. Here's a little fucker kitty. I guess I probably should have said something beforehand. Yeah, I think you should have. Because I thought, you know, the sky's the limit. So consider this a warning, I guess. But seriously, don't, don't use those kinds of words again. You never know who might be meeting. Okay. Oh dear, what do you think about that? That's crazy, man. I'm sure glad that I am not going. The cages are no place for me, dear. I've heard some bad things about those places. Very scary things. Things that are not good at all, dear. By the way, dear, you did something bad. Very bad. I thought that I would feel angry. And I do. But mostly, I am sad. There was no point to what you did. I do not want to talk right now. Okay, I seem to have offended Mrs. Bubblehead. Oh, man. I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but anything's better than doing paperwork all day. Honestly, I'm pumped about it. Very excited. Thrilled. This is the beginning of good things for me. I can feel it. Okay. Oh, this cat is... Oh, dear. A cat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This cat is already dead. See, it, it has choked on a stick. That, ah, sorry kitty. Reject. Next. Mutt, a sad mutt with no known use. I don't care, useless dog just takes up space. Mark. Mark your posterior extremities are also taking up space. Go to hell. I didn't say that. Rejected. Oh, whoops. No, I didn't want to reject you. I meant... Oh, I want to approve of it. Oh, fuck it. Next. What? It's Alan. Alan with the blue nose. Alan with the Wilma Flintstone hair. Only gray. Alan. Alan. Alan, what are you doing? Now I have to kill you. Reject. Reject. Next. A tortoise. A land tortoise. As opposed to a sea tortoise. It's indifferent. It eats discarded fruit. And its name is Devo. Any turtle... Named Devo has my vote. Uh, has my vote for president. He has better hair than Trump. Trump. Oh, yay! Next, a golden fish. Gold is good. He's cold. Oh, I put, give him a sweater. Give him a little goldfish sweater. He calms children. He calms children and you can't give him a sweater? I won Martin at the Cups game at the carnival and he's my favorite animal, Cody. Oh, okay, so he's your favorite animal, but you can't even give him a sweater when he's cold. Poor fish. Mercy killing. Next. Parrot, an unforgiving parrot that bites other animals. What? Damn thing squawks doesn't stop having slept at night in four years. Well, you know what I say? This is a late parrot. Reject, reject, reject. Oh, approve. Next. I'm done. Done with that stack. Next. I want a promotion. Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say documentaries are great. Documentaries are important government tools. They show the public that we're just like them. My favorite documentary is, um, uh, uh, well, I forget the title. But it's about a wolf raised by geese. The wolf grows up and eats the geese. It's, it eats the geese. It eats the geese. 
is a message we can all learn from. Yeah, like don't put wolves and geese in the same damn room. The interesting thing about wolves, by the way. A fun wolf fact, since I'm in a wolf sort of mood right now. A wolf can travel more than 50 miles a day in search of food. Back when wolves still thrived in the wild, I experienced this firsthand. A photographer and I followed a pack for days. Most beautiful thing I've ever been a part of. You're talking on and on again, Mr. Octopus Head. Mr. Yellow, sick octopus head. I'm blah, blah, blah. You just blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear you. No. Okay, now you're going to talk more, right? Blah, 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 blah. I should have said I understood. I should have told you I understood everything you said, because now you're going to go on and on and on and on. I am so sick of your face. Finally. Finally. Oh my gosh, Bubblehead. Bubblehead. Martha. He drives me crazy. Oh dear. What could have happened to Alan? What, did something happen to Alan? Alan was here a minute ago. I did not like him much. Did not like him? What happened to Alan? But this is very concerning. What's happened to Alan? Wait, you know what, kids? You're going to have to tune in next time to find out what happened to Alan. And to find out the further adventures of Martha and and the other guy. And the guy with the Wilma head. No, Wilma head is the guy that's missing. Wilma is Alan. <laughs> Alan is Wilma. Wilma, Alan. Then there's Martha. And then there's the guy in charge. And all of these stories are interconnected and this is the most complex plot of any game I've ever played. So we're going to have to take a break. I'll be back in the next few days with a follow-up installment of Animal Inspector. Bye, kids. <laughs>